In today's video, we will visit an awesome place, one that we had been waiting to go to for a long time, called Poza Los Coyotes, which without a doubt, exceed our expectations. A canyon with emerald waters coming from a volcano. In addition, this place awaits a wildlife that left us stunned, both doggies and humans. Join us in this video in which I assure you that it will make you want to come to know this amazing place. These natural pools are located very close to Liberia, almost four hour drive from San Jose. This is a place which we had already tried to come on a couple of occasions, but for some reasons we still had not succeed. But today is the day, and we come ready to enjoy them to the fullest. The access road is a little rough, but with some care any bike cool can do it. The entrance costs a little less than $4 per person, and most important of all, pets are welcome. To go through all the pools, they tell us that we had to walk up to the last one and from there go down little by little through the water. But before starting the trail, a very short one, it must be said, the dog is needed to splash around a bit so we quickly approach the nearest pool, which is only about 40 meters away, so that they could cool off a bit and now yes, let's explore this incredible place. As you advance, you go through the different points where there is access to the water, water of a strong and beautiful emerald color that effusively invites you to take a dip and even more with this area hit. But you had to put up with your desire to reach the end of the trail and go through each and every one of the pools as it should. Although there was someone who did not respect nothing and got submerged her head every time she could. And then, well, after hitting around to the entrance again to rent one of these donuts in which the five of us could fit, the time has come to navigate this water of such surreal color. As I have been saying lately, Buster is becoming more intrepid every day, and proof of this is how he jumped on the donut without thinking for a moment. My little adventure, I melt with him. This one you see here is Sebastian, the brother-in-law, one of Rebecca's brothers who accompanied us on this trip and who started in the best way possible with a refreshing and accidental inaugural dip. starting to go down the river we saw that we could go up against the current a bit so that is where we went to explore something else and lengthen the aquatic route a bit Then we began to go down through the canyon, current in favor, a practically zero current, which is appreciated to be able to enjoy the beauty of this amazing place. It must be said that this was the first time of Bonnie in a floatable and she was doing so well. What a couple of water children we have.
After a somewhat rough landing because Buster fell overboard and couldn't get out to the mainland, now it was time to explore the Coyotes Cave, which we will find after another path of about 400 meters, path where we met another beagle very much younger than Buster and we started playing like crazy with Bonnie. We love pet friendly places. And how could it be otherwise? Coyote's cave was also spectacular. A canyon with enormous walls through which you can immerse yourself and feel very small, facing this imposing place that left us speechless. Muy bien. This is a deeper area where there are several jump points and obviously I couldn't stay with the desire. However, the one that went wrong was my GoPro. The image froze, so I had to sacrifice myself and jump again. But the damn camera failed again. But this time there was a very nice girl at the bottom who had her phone handy and she did me the favor of making a video. How ridiculous can I look from other people's eye, right? And then they arrive. The monkeys. Holer monkeys, if I'm not wrong. It is always a visual delight to see monkeys in their natural habitat and even more so when you don't expect them in the slightest. And to be even more speechless, it wasn't one, but a whole group of them who also gradually got closer to us until they made us totally fascinated. They must be quite used to humans because some of them went down to a few meters from us to have a snack because the truth is that it was time to put something in their stomachs. And if you don't think so, ask the Mr. Balls. But our fascinating encounters with fauna were going to close with a flourish. Our little bunny had a magical encounter with a huge morpho, who came down to dance for a few seconds with her and blow our minds. What a moment, so unforgettable. And finally, we look out at a kind of viewpoint from which to contemplate some waterfalls and the canyon from above, just speechless. A very awesome place which far exceed our expectations. With up a dot, highly recommend. See you in the following video in which we will camp at Iwanita Beach to visit one of the best and most famous beaches in Costa Rica the next day, Nacascolo Beach. Thank you very much for joining us in this adventure. We send you a huge hug and see you into the nature.